Eventually we're not going to be able to feed ourselves and those rural economies are going to change in a way that I don't think a lot of people like. The mission here is to actually keep those farms farming and by, by changing their economics and making them profitable legacy assets that can be turned over to the next generation. So if you think about uh, the future of agriculture, our belief is that agrivoltaic, so that more farms will actually become um, developers and owners of their own energy infrastructure. And our view is that, you know, if you have uh, renewable energy infrastructure, you should include battery storage and, in our view, Bitcoin mining. And what we're doing is sort of revolutionizing the interconnection between uh, blockchain, uh, in this case Bitcoin, and uh, rural economics, so the idea that a farmer can actually generate their own collateral and then finance their own operation using the Bitcoin that they mine. There's a lot of conversation about DER to sort of decentralize energy resources, right? And, you know, if you think about some of the issues with the grid, and particularly in the United States with our lack of investment in, in the, the grid, the ability to move power from one place to another is a real issue. So right. for example, like the entire Texas grid is not connected to the rest of the country. So if you, the power of decentralized energy is that you can put energy uh, sources um, where they are most needed mm. and the ability to build those um, assets either behind the grid to serve um, loads like let's say Bitcoin mining or, or other uh, large energy loads or to connect them to the grids at, at, at a variety of different points actually adds to the resilience of the grid um, and you know provides a way to um, get power to people in a way that's affordable and accessible. I was just gonna ask about that like uh, what's the thesis for integrating Bitcoin mining in energy grids like what's the fundamental problem energy grids face and how does Bitcoin mining solve it at a time when I think a lot of people think why do we need Bitcoin mining in the first place? The energy that we're consuming, um, we're, we're, we're monetizing in two ways. One is we're creating Bitcoin, so we're generating our own collateral, so we're building our own financial capability on one side, and the other side we're able to sell our power for twice, twice the price. Carbon country, could you just explain your business model again in 30 seconds or less? So the idea is it's really a real estate play at, at its baseline, but instead of, you know, adding uh, stainless steel appliances or, you know, new tile, we're adding agrivoltaic, so um, five megawatts of solar on each of our farms. Um, we're not taking the farm out of production. And then we're building some very um, innovative new carbon removal techniques and uh, one is a biochar. We're building the first large-scale biochar facility in Maryland where we are and another technique called uh, wood vaulting and storage. Uh, the future is bright. We're really excited about um, the business model and, and most importantly the impact that we can have in rural areas. So right now um, 3% of farms generate 97% of farm income in the United States and those 97% of farms are dying at a precipitous rate. Those farm land is being taken out of production and eventually we're not going to be able to feed ourselves and those rural economies are going to change in a way that I don't think a lot of people like. So we're preserving, the, the mission here is to actually keep those farms farming and by, by changing their economics and making them profitable legacy assets that can be turned over to the next generation. Mm, very interesting. It, it reminds me of maybe the example of, uh, of, of retail and, and the difference between retail and an Amazon or something and how, right, basically there's consolidation from the top and, and the little guys are that just, you know. same kind of pressure, right? Um, and how do you respond to it using different elements to kind of preserve what you value in rural, uh, rural communities? What are you most scared about in the crypto world? Well, I mean, if you're in Bitcoin, I guess you could say you're worried about quantum computing, like breaking the, you know, some of the, uh, the cryptography that's behind uh, Bitcoin. I mean, that would be pretty catastrophic. Um, but really, I think it's just um, people being greedy and doing dumb stuff to, to, to kind of denigrate the whole space um, when really it can be used for such good. So the weakest link in the blockchain is the human. Absolutely. Greed kills great ideas every time. Quite the slogan. Thank you very much, Mark. All right. It's a pleasure, pleasure to speak. Okay.